Ah, Christmas. That time of year where we allow a large round man to break into our houses and leave suspicious packages in our living rooms. If you're a fan of gaming and sim racing, and I'm assuming you are since you're watching this video, then there's a ton of stuff you could scribble down onto your lists to make your Christmas even better. Welcome back to the Traction channel, and this is our Christmas Buyer's Guide. Hit subscribe to not be put on the naughty list. Yes, he's watching. First up, let's talk wheels. If you've been playing, I don't know, Forza Horizon 5 with a controller all this time and want to play it in a completely different way or want to get into the likes of Assetto Corsa Competizione or F1 2021 and play it a bit more seriously, I'd argue, then I've got two really good shouts for you. What about the Logitech G923, available in Xbox and PlayStation flavors, both of which are compatible with PC? The True Force feedback features dual motors for an excellent feeling, and the build quality at this price point is pretty much unmatched. I use this wheel personally, and I absolutely love it. But what if you're Team Thrustmaster in the more budget-oriented space? How about their brand new T248, which I reviewed earlier this year? Click or tap up there to see that. It's currently available for PlayStation and PC, but it's soon coming out in an Xbox PC variant too. This wheel features a hybrid force feedback system as well as a pretty nifty display on the center itself which works with a bunch of games. It is a little bit pricier than the G923 since it's newer but how much you spend or how much Sansa spends is completely up to you. These two are great shouts either way. Alternatively you're minted or Santa's minted and you've been using a bog standard force feedback wheel for a while now and want to step up. What then? Enter the Fanatec CSL DD, a hugely anticipated budget force feedback option, setting you back only 350 euros. If you want a bit more source, you could add on the boost kit, but John made a video answering the question as to whether that's even worth it. So go and check that out. Though you will have to supply pedals and a wheel for this one. And for the former, we definitely recommend the CSL pedals that released alongside it. They're pretty damn great for their price point. But then what do you do for the latter? Like F1 and want lots of buttons? The Club Sport Formula V2 is the way to go. Driving GT cars? Why not the McLaren GT3 V2? There are a ton of wheels to choose from for this ecosystem, so have a look on their website and see what's compatible with the platforms you're playing on. Similarly, what about the Thrustmaster TSXW and T300? They're not direct drive bases, but they do support interchangeable rims. That means you can use the absolutely stunning Ferrari SF1000 wheel, which is now compatible with a bunch of games. And I wish I could stick that on my G923. That would be sick. Okay, but you're already doled up with wheels and pedals and all sorts, and you just want to move on from mounting it to your desk. What then? How about the Next Level Racing Wheel Stand 2.0? It's pretty much the front half of a normal rig that you can slot your desk chair into for a really comfortable experience at a fraction of the cost and space required, and you can fold it up. But what if you did have the space for a full rig? You could start with the Wheel Stand 2.0, but then you can buy the GT seat add-on and basically turn it into the GT track rig. Or if you don't want to get into it a step at a time, you could just buy the GT track rig as is, and we reviewed that too up there. Yeah. Okay, we've got the more expensive bits out the way, and perhaps Santa can't really heave an entire GT track rig down your chimney, provided you've got a chimney. You've not got bottomless pockets to fork out for stuff for your sim racing bestie. What then? How about we look at some games you could pick up? Platform sales are your friends here. They normally kick off around December across basically everything. Steam, PlayStation Store, Xbox Marketplace, GOG, CD keys, everything. If you want some pretty great bang for your buck and a more recent game, how about Forza Horizon 5? An excellent title with hours upon hours of gameplay to be had. But what about Hot Wheels Unleashed? A fantastic arcade racer with couch co-op options and a bevy of content still to come down the line. If you're buying for an F1 fan, look no further than F1 2021, which also includes the pretty brilliant breaking point. Do you like driving in circles? Do you have a Switch? What about NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition Plus? A pointlessly long name, but a pretty terrific game. And if your recipient does have a Switch but doesn't yet have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you owe them that absolute pleasure. But your mate is already fully stocked up on games. Then you could move on and buy the most versatile gift you can buy anyone, anywhere. A gift card. Pick one up for their relevant platform and they can do whatever with it. Buy a game, pick up some DLC for Assetto Corsa Competizione for example, or you can even buy them a subscription to iRacing if that's their poison. It's the easiest option out of everything we have and will speak about today, and though it might feel like a bit of a cop-out on your end buying it for somebody, trust me on the receiving end, getting a gift card is still pretty great. 
Okay, what about some stocking fillers? Arguably the cheapest option to cater for your sim racer or gamer friend. And if they are a sim racer and use a wheel, there is one very obvious choice, a pair of racing gloves. If you're doing long stints on a wheel, it might make your time in the cockpit just that little bit more comfortable. Plus, it just feels really cool to be racing with gloves on. But if your mate doesn't use a wheel and instead uses a controller exclusively, you could pick up some thumbstick grips to give the thumbsticks more, well, grip. You can get them in all sorts of designs and heights, and the taller you make your stick for steering, the more precise you can be. I personally use these Juggernog ones on my DualSense controller, and as much as I thought they were kind of gimmicky at first, they're actually pretty great. Keyboards and mice aren't things you would really buy for a sim racer, you don't need them to race unless you're incredibly desperate and don't have any other means of doing so, but you do need them to boot a game provided you're playing on PC. And if you've got a rig, rather than spending hundreds on a keyboard and mouse stand, honestly the best thing to pick up is a keyboard and trackpad combo. We use the Logitech K400 Plus here at Traction and they are far more useful than having an individual keyboard and mouse to perch somewhere and try and use. Might be worth picking up if you see your mate in his rig struggling with a mouse and keyboard with cables trailing everywhere, it's a right pain. These things make it so much easier and neater and tidier. Finally, it's Christmas. Love them or loathe them, you're gonna get socks. If you're a racing fan, check out Heel Tread's line of racing liveries as socks. They even have a Time Machine DeLorean pair too. Mum, please? So that is our buyer's guide for an adrenaline fueled racing Christmas. Anything you would suggest to buy for your mate or anything you would like for Christmas? Let me know in the comments section below. Subscribe to the Traction channel if you haven't already and happy Christmas list writing. Be good, keep it pinned and I'll see you next time.